Hey Capricorns, I'm back y'all with another video. So, let's get into it, okay. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, South Node, wherever you have Capricorn in your chart, we gonna get into it, okay. This may or may not resonate with you. If it happens to resonate, all the better. Be sure to hit the like button and share with your family and your friends. If you're new, subscribe. All right, so let's get into it. Let's get into it. Spirit, what messages do we have for the Capricorn, please? Okay, so y'all just jumped out of the day by that. All right, so I normally don't, I don't want to start doing it, but I feel like you guys are getting a new fresh start. You're wanting a fresh start. I feel like you wanted to return to someone but you had to actually purge yourself um, first. You you were in solitude. <laughs> you took some time to yourself, okay? You took some time to yourself. But I see y'all getting a fresh start or y'all want a fresh start. I see an offer was made in last spring. So around March, April, or May, there could have been an offer that was made. We got an offer here. So, but you could have been afraid of who's watching. Look at this, fear and observer. Okay, so there was an offer that was made last spring. An offer was put on the table. But you was afraid of who was going to say something or who was going to, who who's watching who's looking who's who's going to say something who's who's going to have an opinion okay so dang what else? so you decided to take a new direction you took a new direction so that's why you had to purge you wanted to return to someone but instead you decided to purge yourself from that person pull away from that person and you decided to go a new direction Yep, and you and this person aren't communicating. We got mute. You and this person, y'all are not communicating. Ever since you took this new direction, um, you went elsewhere, you did something else, you chose someone else. Um, that offer that was offered to you last spring, I feel like it was last year around springtime, March, April, May-ish type of energy. Um, time frame I feel like that offer is no longer on the table you took a new direction but you and that person are not communicating you still thinking about this person we got nostalgia you still looking at pictures of this person you still think about them I feel like I feel like this person could have been a victim to something, a play a part in a game, or you played the victim in a part of their game, but the signs were there, okay? I feel like you, I feel like being that you're the one, I feel like you're the one who made the decision to take a different route. You want to reinvent yourself, okay? You want to reinvent yourself. You want to do something different. I feel like it was just totally a decision to go a different route because you wanted to, you wanted some something different. You wanted something that was not the same. Okay. Now we got balancing the scales. I feel like you feel stuck because of this picture that you painted. You painted this picture of something being what it is and it's really what it's not because you feel stuck we got muse see this paintbrush here um yeah painting a picture uh but really i feel like you, you feel stuck or you felt stuck okay you had to go through a metamorphosis i feel like some of y'all have completely changed you're no longer how you used to be you no longer act like how you used to act you went through a completely different, you went through a transformation. 
You had to surrender some things. Some of y'all had to surrender your twin flame. Okay, because we got vibration, compromise, and surrender. Y'all had to let go of some things. You know that you had free will to do it. You knew that you had that free will to do it. You compromised elsewhere and you surrendered this connection. This connection could have been your, this person could have been your twin flame. So some of y'all have walked away from a twin flame to go towards a soulmate. This soulmate energy could be someone that you just, y'all just click, like y'all just get each other. You know, it's a lot of fun. Y'all on the same vibe. Y'all on the same frequency. Like, it is what it is when it comes to this person. Like, this person understands you. You understand them. Y'all just get each other. Um, I feel like sometimes y'all think about this at night. Like, dang, I really, I feel like some of y'all are really coming from a dark place. Like, maybe some of you were in a dark energy. I see talks about money on the table and I see a separation and I see you at a crossroad having to make a decision I see you guys made some type of commitment maybe you were in a commitment oh yeah you had to put something on pause Something had to go on pause. And I feel like it's this person or situation that you were dealing with that happened in the spring when you made this decision. I feel like it was last year. You put something on pause. Dang. Okay, I see also you saying yes to this connection. Okay, you saying yes to a connection. But I feel like you settled. Some of y'all could have settled. We got settling. The answer is yes. Healing. So something got put on pause. Somebody's over here healing. Okay, the person that you walked away from or the situation that you walked away from, this person is currently healing. And I feel like you could have been in, you jumped in a connection with a soulmate or a karmic and I feel like it's settled. You settled. And then we got deception and lessons. See, it's a lesson that could be coming out of this. Okay. That's a lot of deception. Like this person may settle. May You may have settled for this person because you and this person both. Y'all may both be deceptive. You and this person both may have y'all ways. And y'all, like I said, y'all just might just get each other. But some lessons with this divine feminine. This divine feminine mad, okay? Because we got destruction. Yeah, that's confirmation. This divine feminine, your twin flame. They mad. We got destruction and lessons. All right. So also what I'm getting to is that there was a conclusion, okay? There was a closing of a chapter. I see you refocusing. I see you you having to refocus. You turned your back. You're turning your back on something to put your focus elsewhere, okay? Because I feel like it's a new offer on the table. You're focusing on this other offer, this offer that's on the table. It's another offer. You closed the chapter with the offer before. You said no to that offer. And then you, you turned your back on that, on that offer and you went towards another offer because you were having fear of how, oh my gosh, mask and observer and release. You had a fear that your mask was going to fall off or people, what people would think of you. And you got this observer over here. What people, how people view you. So you had to, you definitely, you had to let that, let that situation go. You released it. And you let it go. Now, it's funny that 
mute is right here and communication is clarifying this. And then we got purge. That's clarifying communication. I feel like you and this person don't communicate no more at all. Like this person is straight up pure silent. They met, they're watching you because we got observer. They're watching you, but there's no communication. You're watching them. There's no communication. Somebody could have even got blocked. Somebody could have did some type of work here um, to block the energy. We got shadow work and barrier. It could have been a karmic who did some type of work to block you from this other person. They did it last summer. So spring and this summer. This that spring where it looks like there was an offer on the table and you decided to go take a different direction. This karmic partner, because we got a karmic partner right here. I feel like some of y'all could have been mistaken a, a karmic with a twin. But this person is a karmic. I feel like they could have did some type of work to block this person's energy. They did that last summer. They could be physically blocked. could have been some compromising that needed to happen about some money some money could very much so be involved it wasn't a compromise like you and this person couldn't compromise together couldn't get the finances together but i definitely see like there was some type of commitment you had with this person because we got commitment and nostalgia you could have been married to this person or you could have just been with them for a long time you made some type of commitment to them maybe you went back on your word about something and now you're like kind of like thinking about it i see you it's definitely a commitment that you had in the past because nostalgia is talking about your past your memories things that already happened there's that fresh start card again okay so fresh start See, look at this. What is this? We got patience and offer. It's a lot to do with the offer. A new offer is being put on the table. Okay, we got patience. Offer. And reinvention. Do you want to fresh start with this other person? Are you willing to be patient? Are you waiting on an offer for them from them? I'm getting like somebody reinventing themselves. Maybe you're reinventing yourself. Are you having an understanding that this person was a victim? And it was this person underwent through some type of grief. Dealing with deception and family. Somebody's family was deceptive. Their, your family or their family could have been in on, had a, had a hand on this. I'm seeing forgiveness. I'm getting the third party is like head over heels for you. They admire you. We got third party and admire. Like, I see a masculine that's feeling like they at a crossroad. They dealing with a separation. They're releasing something, and then they settle for some something else. 
Let's go ahead and put the tarot. Let's put the tarot. Cause this is some heavy shit. Like, this is some heavy shit, like, yeah, it's heavy. Alright, what's going on with the Capricorn? Now, the cuts wanted to go ahead and jump out. Okay. You wanted what was what was best. You wanted what was best. So I see some of y'all just decided to end something. Like you're trying to plan out your life. You're trying to plan out your future. And we got the six of swords and the ten of swords. You moved on from something. We got Leo's energy here. I feel like there's a separation. Um there's a separation period. Um, you just want you you're you're trying to think ahead. You're trying to plan out your future. Okay. There you go. Popping out your reading. I feel like you're waiting for somebody to come towards you. Giving them you're trying to get somebody attention. You waiting for this person to come towards you. I felt it. We got three of wands, moon, cherry. It could be a Pisces or a Cancer. You're waiting for this person to, to give you some type of, to notice you or notice. You're trying to get this person attention. Six of Pentacles and the Six of Wands. Yeah, this part, I, I see you like not being happy with a decision that you made. Yeah, you want to balance something out. And I feel like the situation is a lot of back and forth in your mind. Like you you struggle with this um this situation. It's kind of like it's, it's going like back and forth in your mind. You you think about it a lot. I'm not sure how to fix it. I suppose like you got hope for this situation. There's that four of wands. I still like, feel like you got hope for the situation. You just don't know how to fix it. We got the strength card here. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius with this uh, Queen of Swords. Or Leo here as well. Capricorn is here. Yeah, see, you want you do want a new start. You may feel like this person hates you. And see, you talk about your past. Like when you talk, when the past talk come up, it's like everything just just, just goes crazy. The situation didn't work because somebody wasn't putting in the effort. Okay? Somebody wasn't putting in the effort anymore. So maybe you felt like this person wasn't putting in enough effort. So you had other options that you, you know, was scouting out. That was third parties, fourth parties, fifth parties. Like it was just a lot of different. You 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 had a lot of different options. You had a, a bunch of directions that you could take that you just decided to go a different direction. I feel like you 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 um, kind of want to fix the situation with somebody from your past. I, I see you've been thinking about somebody from your past, and you just don't know how to. You don't know how to fix it. You don't even know how to even come at this person. But you want a new start. Ooh, all y'all cards keep. Lying on the floor. Yes, you stabbed this person in the back, or they stabbed you in the back. Something like that happened, and somebody got left broken hearted. So yeah, we got stabbed in the back and broken hearted. So somebody got betrayed. 
somebody got betrayed. And I like I said, you not you're not in communication with this person any longer. Because we got Grim Reaper and Girl Talk. Like you're not in you're not communicating with this person because first of all, you got other options. You got other hands, you got your hands and other things. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, this is a silent treatment thing going on. You're not even sure if this person wants you back, but you want you want to you want to like you want to like give it a new start. You want to spark it back up again. I just see you being uncertain. Gosh, these cards just flying out. See ya. We got karmic relationship. We could be dealing with the karmic right now. You just don't want to deal with the yeah. See, you know if you move on from the karmic, the karmic gonna be heartbroken. Um, you don't wanna hurt nobody's feelings, but at the same time, it's kinda like, mm, you kinda trying to spread your wings and do something different. Yeah, you and this person are separated. I feel like, um, yeah, I told you. Somebody got somebody stabbed somebody in the back because they was dealing with a third party. Um, and that's why there was a separation. Stabbed in the back and seduction. Somebody stabbed somebody in the back by being going chasing down someone else. Now We got clock with temperance. You feel like it's time to resolve it. You feel like it's time to, you know, like, resolve it. Balance it out. Balance the scales. I just feel like you just don't know how to. Some of you could be discussing getting a divorce. I see a chapter closing. You can be ending things with a uh, some of you could be ending things with the karmic, and some of y'all are dating someone else, evolving. Um, some of y'all just you know don't really know how to fix the situation, it may be too damaged. Why is the Queen of Swords here? Passion. Maybe you, you like the fun of it, okay? Maybe you want somebody who you can have fun with. You know, you and this person equally yo. Y'all both on the same page. Um, oh. That's what you was getting with this karmic. I feel like you're trying to stop that pattern. Yes, yeah, see, we got coughing here. Endings. Maybe you want to cut, maybe because we got a date and not a date. It's like, maybe I, feel, I see you trying to stop some type of pattern. I do see you want to call this person. Look at this. Love calls twin flames heart with the key. I do see you want to reach out to this person. You want to talk to this person. You know that this person is your twin flame. Um, we got heart with the key. You do want to you you want to welcome this person back into your energy. You do want to welcome this per person back, but some of y'all gonna have to let y'all gonna have to sacrifice some things. And I'm getting that a lot in a lot of ways. Like people having to let something else go in order for something else for them to manifest something else. Okay. Now oh, you got the strength card over here. Give me dealing with the Leo. Okay, so whoever you could be dealing with, somebody here is trying to sabotage 
They don't want to see this. We got a hammer. They don't want to see this goal, this partnership come together because we got engagement ring and this is engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, union. This person does not want to see this connection uh, come back together because then they'll have to heal. Okay, see, they'll have to heal from a heartbreak. They'll have to deal with the uh, trying to heal from a toxic relationship or an addiction. Then they'll have to go out and find somebody else to date. So whoever this is, it could be Leo. They don't want they want this connection to stay sabotage because they don't want to hit have to heal from from a, a toxic situation that they put themselves in. vice versa this could be you or them but i'm picking up that you guys may have had the final say so in this situation but i see you kind of looking back and like you know what let me get this person a call you got love call i feel like someone is expressing their love a message of love thinking of you and letting you know i feel like some of y'all are going to take that first step and reach out to this person now what is it going to be for for some, it could be you missed the sex. <laughs> the sex was good. Okay, some of y'all might want to take them out on a date or them taking you out on a date. Some of y'all want stability, security, flexibility. So it just depends. It all depends. It all depends. Like, I feel like y'all have plenty of options. Y'all could take new di any direction that y'all want to take because I feel like at this point in time, y'all got, y'all are the it factor. Like, people are flocking. There's no shortage of options for you. So, it's all about the direction that you want to take. But I feel like some of y'all are just kind of missing something that used to be. I see y'all being really nostalgic. And that's because we're going into that Mercury retrograde energy. Okay? We're going into that Mercury retrograde energy. Right now, we're already currently in um, Venus retrograde. So Venus retrograding and Mercury retrograding at the same time, it is going to like things that are unfinished could resurface. Okay, so I'm feeling like you got some unfinished business. You just you just aren't sure how to balance it out. You just aren't sure how to fix it. You're just uncertain how to go about it. But you got somebody over here that you could be dealing with that's trying to make sure that you don't go back to this party. Okay, so keep that in mind as well. All right, so that's the reading that I got for my cappies. Y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, hit that bell, and I'm going to chat with y'all later. Ciao.